Howdy folks. Uh, it was my birthday recently. Happy birthday. Thank you. And uh, I got a couple of rums for the occasion, a couple of fun rums. I uh, just thought I'd tell you about them, give them a taste. Let's go. So rum one is this Plantation Barbados XO. It's uh, part of the Plantation sort of special single cask series. So Plantation is owned by a place called Maison Ferrand, which is a cognac house. Uh, they make Pierre Ferrand cognac. And so they have a sort of special, unique way of doing things that's different from a lot of other rum makers. For one thing, they own a stake in a lot of different distilleries around the world. And uh, so what they'll do is get uh, barrels of rum from the distilleries they partially own. They'll let them age in the Caribbean in uh, ex-bourbon casks as normal. Then they'll take them to France and they'll age them in Ferrand casks, so in, I guess, ex-cognac casks, or at least French oak casks. And then for this special limited edition series, they will further age these rums in various wine casts or beer casts or scotch casts. They have a whole range of different ones. But one kind of weird thing about them is that they're calling this an XO, which isn't really a rum thing, it's a cognac thing, but XO and cognac would mean it's aged at least six years. So probably, that's probably what they mean. Uh, there's no age statement other than that on this. So in this case, it's a rum from Barbados and it's been further aged in an Ambruana cask. Ambruana isn't a wine or anything, it's a type of wood that grows in Brazil. Uh, they use it to make barrels and sometimes they will age cachaça in them. I know you can get like a Nova Fogo a cachaça aged in Ambruana cask, which is pretty good. So, you know, hopes are high for this rum. Um, it should be pretty interesting. I'm gonna go ahead and pour some out. So, here it is. It's not super dark, sort of a medium amber color. It's not super aromatic. It's got 48% it's alcohol. That is 96 proof. Get a lot of those sort of caramel, apple-y notes. The sort of vanilla you get from a uh, ex-bourbon cask. But let's give it a taste. Hmm. Yeah. Is a super interesting flavor. It's very vanilla, it tastes a bit sweet. Um, Pierre Ferrand, the cognac makers, um, will routinely put a little uh, caramel coloring or a little sugar into different batches of cognac to even out the batches uh, to provide consistency. And I wouldn't be surprised if they put some sugar in this. It's not for sure, I don't know for sure that they did, but they're sort of notorious for that. So it's super interesting. It's um. It's got a lot of vanilla. Um, it almost tastes like cherries. And it reminds me a lot of this cherry bounce I made, which is super weird to me. And I think it's got like um, a tonka bean flavor, which is not something I was expecting. It's a little bit spicy, but I was looking up uh, some of the tasting notes, and a tasting note I saw online was that it tasted like tonka bean. I thought that's kind of weird. But I was looking into it, and the Ambruana uh, wood, the, the Ambruana tree, is related to a tonka bean tree. Uh, so I'm wondering if there's some crossover there, like a tonka bean. It's got the same compounds in it as the Ambruana wood. It's possible. Um, it's really very, very, very interesting. Vanilla, tonka bean, cherry flavor. Pretty strong. It's almost like a cocktail already by itself. It tastes pretty sweet. It goes down very easy. I should probably stop. I'm gonna, uh, before I get too drunk to continue. Yeah, so it's a thumbs up. It's very interesting. I wouldn't say it's like a must have for a bar if you're making cocktails, but if you're interested in rums, um, I'm sure the rest of these in these series are, are interesting as well. Though I don't have the time or energy to try and track them all down. This one was only available in one liquor store in the whole state, uh, which I happened to be at. And he, the guy at the place was telling me about it, so I just bought a bottle. Um, anyway, let's move on to Rum 2. So Rum 2 is this Imp X collection. Uh, it comes from the Long Pond Distillery, 13 years old. 
and it is 53.6% alcohol. And that's, what is that? 104.2 proof. There's not a ton of these that came into the state, so I'm pretty lucky to have tracked it down and gotten this bottle, so I'm pretty excited to try it. Now, one of the reasons I'm excited is that it comes from the Long Pond Distillery, uh, which has a pretty interesting history. It's an old distillery in Trelawney, Jamaica, which is the same province as Hamden, um, famous for being, you know, full of esters and dunder and, uh, you know, a real funky rum distillery. Now, interestingly, it closed in 2012. There was, I guess, a leak in some of the equipment, and so they closed it down, and it was going to be a sort of a difficult procedure to get the place running again. But since 2012, uh, when a Maison Ferrand, our old friends, bought their uh, stakes in various distilleries, they got uh, a stake in Long Pond Distillery because they own part of the National Rums of Jamaica. So uh, they were able to, I guess, get things moving again, and they started distilling at Long Pond again in 2017. So hopefully we'll be able to get some more like Long Pond bottles um, in the future. This one comes from 2007, so before the distillery closed. So this bottle comes from Impex, which is an independent bottler. They mostly bottle scotch, but some rum. Uh, they basically dig up uh, rare casks of uh, whiskey and rum and put it in a bottle so we can try it. So let's give this a t let's give this a taste. So knowing it comes from uh, Jamaica, from the Long Pond, I'm expecting it to be somewhat funky. Hmm, and it <laughs> does not disappoint. Get a lot of uh, sort of apple, like apple and pear. Yeah, it's got that it's got that very sharp, sort of acidic biscuity uh, flavor or uh, aroma rather which uh, reminds me a bit of the Hamden, actually. It's got a certain a certain note, that I, it's hard to put your finger on, but it's like a, yeah, like like, like an acidic note, um, but not, an, not like a citric acid, but some other kind of acid. Maybe some like cinnamon notes. Wow. I mean, not nearly as smooth going down as the plantation. It's at a higher proof and it's just got much more punch. It isn't that it's super funky, but it's got just such an interesting sort of, uh, an interesting development of flavor on your mouth. I can't get past this sort of acidic, acidic flavor I'm, I'm getting. That sort of biscuit note that you get from the Hamdens as well. Yeah. Kind of like a like a sour apple, like a sour apple candy maybe, something along those lines. I'm not great at giving a tasting note, so I hope you'll forgive me. But if you can get hold of any of the plantation single cask uh, collection, I recommend them. Uh, just f just for interest's sake, just if you're interested in in rums or interested in spirits in general, they're just it's just I, I really like it when places will. Uh, experiment, you know, in different finishes, different combinations of things. Um, the spirits world has a lot of tradition behind it, and they like to tout all the traditions that they follow, but there's something to be said for experimentation as well, and trying out different procedures to, you know, to, to see what happens. Um, in terms of the Impex collection, it's a pretty expensive bottle. Um, I, I can't say that you have to have it, but I would love to get some more Long Pond from somewhere and um, see if I can, you know, do a taste test or whatever. Um, great. Delicious. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, let me know down in the comments what you think, if you've tried any of these rums, or if there's uh, something else you think I should, uh, I should try. Um, let me know in the comments. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, don't be a stranger, and we'll see you next time.